Hey everybody, it's episode one of the Everything Reselling Podcast. Hey, I'm Carboot Chris. I'm a full-time UK online reseller. I operate mainly on eBay and also whatnot, but also some other platforms as well. I'm going to bring you regular podcasts all about reselling, hopefully to keep your company to entertain or maybe to educate, who knows? Welcome to the Everything Reselling Podcast. Hey everybody, this is it. This is the first podcast. I can see my guests in the background there. Uh, Welcome, Uh, it's the Everything Reselling Podcast. I've been waiting to do a podcast for months and months and months. Recently, I started listening to more podcasts and even audio books, and I'm not even a book person, um, just while I, while I work. And it's kind of got me into the podcasting thing. So I thought, why not do a reselling podcast? And I'm in the UK and there's not that many in the UK doing it. Anyway, welcome to everybody. If you are watching live on YouTube right now, welcome. I can see some people in the chat. If you're listening uh, back on one of the podcasting, broadcasting channels like Spotify or Apple Apple Music or one of the others, then it's good to have you on board. Thanks for joining us. Um, I'm going to do an introduction on this episode one to me for anybody who doesn't know who I am. Um, After this first episode, I probably won't do it again. Um, My name's Chris, a.k.a. Carboot Chris. Some people call me that. Um, I'm a full-time UK reseller. Um, I'm actually aged 45. That's the first time I've admitted it live. I'm 45 years old. It's unbelievable, I know. Um, I'm a Mancunian, but I live in North Wales at the moment. I say at the moment because we have moved house quite a few times recently. Um, I'm, I've been a reseller since 2015. We started off part-time and now I'm full-time. And I'm a former police officer of 13 years, so make sure you behave yourselves. Um, I'm an everything seller. Um, I use mainly eBay, and currently I use Whatnot quite a bit as well, which is really starting to change the way I work and my business. Um, Plus, occasionally I use other platforms as well, including I have used Amazon. Uh, I don't use it currently, but... I wouldn't ever rule out going back to it, but at the moment, I don't use Amazon. Um, I've been hosting live YouTube shows for quite a few years on our YouTube channel, which is called Cookie and the Haydens. If you are listening, then you can always check out our YouTube channel. And um, yeah, this this podcast is going to be all about reselling. Could be anything. We're going to have different subjects each week, hopefully a weekly podcast. And this week, we've got some special guests. And these two are two of the nicest people in reselling you're ever likely to meet. Really, really great people. And we've become friends. And um, yeah, we're going to bring them on today's show because it's probably relevant for where they are in their life at the moment as well. Because today's podcast is all about the work-life balance, which, as we all know as resellers, the work-life balance is really, really difficult to to grasp and to to get right. I don't even think any of us actually get it right anyway. Um, you you try to get it right, but does it happen? I don't know. Um. If anyone has anything in the chat, then feel free to put any questions in while we go along, and I will try to pick out the odd question or two. But without further ado, we've got to bring on our guests. And uh, I'd like to say a big welcome to Paula Marie from Ems Den UK. Hello. Hi. Thank you. Sorry, guys. (laughs) (laughs) Did you say 45? Wow. 45. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, it's not good, is it, really? I mean, it's I know I don't look it. <laughs> no, I know I don't look it. 
Well, yeah. you're the youngest um, here, Chris, so well done for that. <laughs> well, I, I didn't want to say anything. I really that's didn't. That's why it's bought a song, to no, make yourself it. feel make young. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> do you guys... Oh, such lovely things you were saying about us. I know. With a straight face as well. Yeah. No, it's totally true, though. It is totally true. You are two of the nicest people we've ever met. Thanks. <laughs> that's so nice. Yeah. Should we say the same thing? Oh, yeah, you're <laughs> nice as well. <laughs> Somebody would ring me while I'm on the podcast. Um, <laughs> right, guys, you would you like to introduce yourselves properly? Tell us who you are, what you do, and that. And pretend that everyone listening doesn't know who you are. Yeah, well, um, we're Paul and Marie. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we um, Emsden UK. Reselling couple. We've been reselling for many years. Many and, years. Um, We've been self-employed we just... for, what, 22 years Yeah. Now? Get through and, um, life on a wing and a prayer, don't we? <laughs> we sell pretty much anything. A anything and everything. Yeah. If it's got any sort of profit that we, we hope, we'll just give it a go. We'll give it a go. That's it. Yeah, definitely. And, um, yeah, we mainly use eBay. Um, Amazon. We, 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 we do use Amazon. Amazon. We do a little bit of Amazon. And, um, yeah, we try other platforms, but you always tend to... Veer back sort of towards back to, eBay. Um, eBay. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's what we yeah, do. That's what we do, yeah. <laughs> How long have you been reselling for? So we, we've been self-employed for 22 Two years, years and we a bulk of that, I would say. Yeah, is... but I think I think when I was 16, I did my first, you know, my, I used to go to boot sales with my parents because my parents were mm. resellers and um, you sort of, it oh, rubs okay. off on you. And um, when we were sorting out the other day, I found my five-year diary from when I was 16. Wow. And most people are putting what they're doing every day. Mine was a list of what I bought at the boot sale. Oh, was it? <laughs> yeah. Really? Well, wow. That's, that's, that's how like long a blast we've been from the then. past it was. Yeah. Did you yeah. have like lists uh, in your in your diary yeah, yeah. of saying what you bought? Was 20p. <laughs> yeah. That's that so amazing. Was a, yeah, from I was because most everyone that you know at that sort of age had a five-year diary. You know, back in the day, w women especially. I used to write little, you know, who you liked in it and things like that. But mine was what I'd bought. <laughs> How sad's that? <laughs> it's not sad, but it's it must be dead interesting to to look back and sort of see what you were buying at that age. You know yeah, what though? At, at, at that age, I and this is nothing against anybody in here. I wouldn't have been seen dead in a charity shop or a car boot sale or anything. I would not have stepped foot on one of them. I really wouldn't. No, I think when my parents used to buy and sell at boot sales, um, we were sort of donkeys most of the time, just taking stuff back to the car. And, and it's it becomes what you do on a Sunday. And we did that for years. So yeah, I was. it's um, like a day out, I think. Yeah. I, I I did go to boot sales, but I I wasn't I wasn't a charity shop person, and um, yeah, yeah, like you, I wouldn't I wouldn't mind going one. Um, but no, I did. Uh, didn't did they always George smell yourself. funny when you they were did, when yeah. you were younger? They don't smell <laughs> yeah. bad now. They didn't they smell like little boutique shops now. But back in the day, they always had a a bit of oh, a smell. Yeah. Didn't they? Oh yeah. yeah. Look how we bought this like... down. <laughs> <laughs> I think people yeah. used to call it like an old people type smell. And I, I know yes. that's not really a very PC thing to say, but that's what people used to say back in the day. Yeah. 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 But um, yeah, it's all changed now, isn't it? Charity shops. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Completely boutiques. different. Yeah. You don't like you said, boutiques, charity shops. Charity shops. Mm. Yeah. Right. Well. Welcome um, to the show, and we're going to talk today about work-life balance, um, something that I know you've been working on yourselves recently. Yeah, it's been a lot of fun it's, here, isn't it? It's, it's not, not, <laughs> not been great, no. It, it's, you get to a point, you just got to um, readdress everything and um, yeah. get that balance, try and get that balance back, and, um, mm. you know, we've been guilty of... Um, Buying, 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 letting things pile up, and, yeah. you know, and um, obviously you're selling as well, but you're, you're buying more than you can sell. Mm. And, um, yeah, and it, it starts spilling out everywhere, doesn't it? Yeah, and when you work from home, you you feel guilty relaxing sometimes because you think, oh, I could just, you know, well, mm. something's cooking, oh, mm. I could just yeah. do that, I'll just answer that. And There's so much to do, isn't there? Yeah, and you just, you don't. You don't stop, and then that just becomes a day. That becomes your routine, I think, on a daily basis that you just um, fill every minute with doing something. Mm. 
and so, um, we've been really guilty of that. And we since since um, the pandemic, really, we we knuckled down. We, we haven't yeah, really stopped. Mm. Um, yeah, we we had obviously plenty of stock because we've been we buying loads to get through. We've been gathering for years, haven't we? And um, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just it's just crazy where it's gone. And uh, yeah, like you say, since then. Um, the yeah. norm. Um, but you get to a point and you just feel exhausted. Don't yeah, you? you can become your own worst enemy, I think, when you're a reseller because you like a bargain. If you can get something for 50p, gather it up. Mm. Oh, I haven't got time to list all that. I'll stick mm. it somewhere and then I'll go out next week and do the same thing again. Over time, you mm. end up with mountains of it. Yeah. And mm. and then you can't even remember when you got that. Um, yeah. And just how Would you been. say that you struggle with a work-life balance, like finding it? Are you, are you definitely more mm. to the work? Up, up oh, yeah, we are seven days a week workers. We, we are, yeah. Um, we're constantly we, trying to, well, especially <laughs> at the moment, we're, we're, it's, it's quite full on, isn't it? Yeah, we because sort we're of. Trying um, to get stuff sorted and get that balance. Back. We get up early, don't we? Get up at six um, in the morning. Yeah. Um, Paul does a school run because Emily's working at school. I start around about seven, half seven ish, and then we stop at dinner time. Sometimes we'll have a lunch, won't we? 10 minute yeah. break for lunch. So we are pretty much all day, mm. um, every day, and then, um, weekends yeah. as well. In the, in the evenings, as in well. the evenings yeah. Some, you know, do you I mean, not I have a cut point? I, do you have I a have cut a cut-off point in an evening. Well, I, I do. Marie, I have a Marie cut-off does. She, she point. Likes to have that that cut-off I, point. I get yeah. a little bit cranky if I um if I don't have an hour or so to sit and do a puzzle and watch something <laughs> cheesy on the TV. So we normally, you know, after dinner, tidied up and whatever. About about eightish, I'll sit down and that's me done. I'm not doing any more work mm. because I have in the past done that, but then I I um. You feel like you're doing it so much that you start to hate it. So I have to have some sort of cut off. But you could just work night and day, yeah. And you know, you just <coughs> you me, see sorry. it as it's what needs to be done. So you'll just do it, yeah. Whereas yeah. I'm, I, and but then I feel guilty that I'm sat down and Paul come in and ask me something, and I feel guilty that I'm relaxing when Paul's working. So it's a bit, yeah. it's difficult, isn't it? It is. It is difficult. The thing is, is, as a reseller, you, <clears throat> your your day's never done, is it? No. no. You, you never actually right. Oh, I'm I'm I have actually nothing left to do. You've always got stuff to sort out on eBay. There's always something you can list. You you've never run out of items to list. There's there's things to prepare for packaging the next day or whatever. There's sourcing to be done. Actually, it never actually ends, and that that's part of the problem, is it? I think you always feel behind with everything as well. You've always got so much to list you've always got things to wrap you've always got things to photograph mm. and so you always feel behind so just saying oh, i'm stopping now it's not easy because you think well i didn't get that done i didn't get that done so um mm. yeah it's it's continual i mean the amount of times on sunday for instance i've been doing bits and bobs on, on the sunday but then you get to the evening the time's gone and in the evening you think, well i've got a few parcels i've got to get those ready for the next day so you end up spending your sunday evening um, where that. really you should be sat down relaxing and you're wrapping parcels and, mm -hmm. and, and getting it all ready for the next day. And to um, be honest, we we are, if the only time we're not really working is when we're eating. Mm. So that's sort of, our, you know, we, we fill all of our time with working. That's sort of how, how we do it. Yeah, yeah. Mm. And it's... It just needs to change. Yeah, it we've realised that it's just not mm. what we want to do. We If we go out somewhere or drop Emily off, we'll always tie it in with a coffee shop because oh, yeah. that's what we... Like to do a Talk planning meeting, don't we? Um, so we we'll have a sit and have a coffee, and then we just don't want to come home because you know when you get home, that's it. You start doing this, you've got to do that, but, yeah. and it's like, oh, and it's nice sitting, sitting and relaxing, or looking at, looking mm. over at something, and mm. you know, and it, it's just we realise we want a bit more of that in our life and a, a less of the work. Mm. Yeah. So for I us, no, I, yeah. <laughs> so for us, it's really about changing how we work and changing what we sell mm. to make it more efficient if that makes sense yeah so definitely, what, definitely. You, for example you do the um you schedule don't you your listings um for a weekend so you're not working at a weekend but exactly how, and i just don't how you how do you do that do you do so many per day or do you on a friday have a big purge how do you sort of schedule um normally to be honest with you normally my weekend listings are um old listings uh ended and sold similar so i on a friday evening or a friday afternoon or whatever i will go through my oldest items which 
at the moment are not more than two months old because I'm I'm stopping at two months and then I'm ending and relisting and sell similar and that. So I, what I'll do is I'll end 70 items on a Friday afternoon and then I'll I'll relist them. I'll tweak the title. I'll reduce, always reduce the price. Mm. And then I will schedule 35 for a Saturday and 35 for a Sunday at 20 minute intervals so that they go on throughout the day. Um, right. And that that is what I class as, as my weekend listing is just old listings selling similar. I mm. don't actually put anything new on. I don't schedule anything new. The only time I normally schedule new stuff is like if I'm on holiday, I'll do a few a day in advance as mm. well as some sell similar. So I might, I might, when I'm on holiday, I might have um, like 15 listings a day, maybe 10 of them will be sell similars and five will be brand new listings that are drafted in advance, um, you know, ready to go on holiday. So yeah, that's what I, I tend to do. And with that, that means that I, I don't do any listing at all on a Saturday or a Sunday. The only things I do to do with work on a Saturday and a Sunday is um, go to boot sales, go sourcing, charity shops, whatever, or do anything online. And um, on a Sunday night, I will um, package the Monday morning orders on a Sunday night before Monday comes. So that's that's what I do at a weekend. I try to have it off, really. Mm. Yeah. That's what we're trying to do. We're, we're trying to take steps to only work Monday to Friday. And we, we don't mind working long hours. We don't mind working solidly. But we just feel that we, we need that couple of days where we have more of a life so that then mm. we, because we're starting to worry that we're, we're hating what we do. And we, mm. we don't want, you know, we do love it. Yeah, but yeah, sometimes when you do it so much, it becomes it becomes all you do. And yeah. We want to, especially where where we've had two or three, well, in June, we stopped sourcing in June. So the yeah, fun bit of yeah. reselling we've not done since June. So if you can imagine That's just tough. everything else, it's all rubbish. It's just, so, yeah. Not pleasant. So, no. you know, we're just continually doing rubbish all the time. So we really want That's to. That's really hard, that, though, isn't it? Because it as a reseller, the, the best thing is to go into, or for sourcing. most of us, the best thing is to go out finding stuff and buying and that into it. And we know what we're like. If we were to have a, a Saturday or Sunday off, we know we would either go to a charity, do charity shopping in a town, or we'd yeah. go to a boot sale. So that is sort of working, but it's not because it's like the fun bit of it. Um, yeah. That we've sort of, yeah, that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to really change what we're listing, how we're listing it, and just trying to take some steps to to make it so that we can not feel guilty about finishing on a Friday night and having a couple of days off. That's what we're well, that's all do. part of the um, work-life balance is like at the weekend, like instead of going sourcing, I mean, sourcing is fine. It's fun anyway, isn't it, to do it together. But do something, yeah. do something completely non-reseller related, you know, go for a walk. Yeah. You feel guilty. You feel guilty. It's, yeah. it's just trying to, we need to not feel guilty. So we want yeah. to, if we can be more efficient during the week, then we're sort of hoping that that will mean we're okay to have a weekend off because we've we've sort of we've finished work that's it it's monday to friday yes paul will still have to do the parcels on a sunday night but that's part of it, isn't it? yeah but when you yeah. do the balance you, you know whatever work you do on the sunday really you should have the time back during the week so if you do end up working or you go to a boot sale sunday morning you work on sunday evening then you try and get the, the have a time back another day but, coffee break on yeah. the wednesday morning to <laughs> yeah to combat it but um but yeah we just we, yeah we're very guilty now of, of, of um yeah just, just const constantly doing it but it it's mainly our own fault we've, we've got yeah so it's much what we've gathered we've, over the years it's our own it's, it's our punishment yeah, yeah, yeah definitely and uh, um punishment. you sort of want to start again sometimes you just want to go oh, i just want to get a big <laughs> skit chuck it in start <laughs> again but you need the money something to be said for that though isn't there to a certain extent having a like a complete reset you know, mm. there's something to be said for it because you know you can find stuff. You know you can source. Yeah. Mm. And the sort you, of things you could certainly you could do like a half reset. You could kind of look at the really low value stuff and say, you know what, that's not worth my time, and kind of reset that and say that's gonna go to the charity shop. I'm gonna give that up and just concentrate on the stuff that's got the threshold of value that you're willing to sell. Yeah, that's sort of what we're doing, yeah, aren't we? We, we are. Yeah. Um, 
just going through everything and going, right, that's not worth our time. That's going to be put in a boot sale pile. Yeah. And um, because yeah, we sort, we have, yeah. we do analyze things quite a lot, don't we? And um, that, that is the key to it for us is that if, yeah. if we're listing higher valued items, we don't need to sell as many each day. So that doesn't take up our time photographing. Definitely. And we've, wrapping. We've, we've said it on our videos, haven't we? Uh, quite a lot about you, you need to value your time and and um <clears throat> when you when you look back at what we've sold and some of the really low value things we've dealt with mm. um just single items not multi listings we haven't really taken that advice because when you work it all out yeah. and what you're actually getting on it getting back from it from the amount of um time that you've put into it is, yeah. is not enough and something you might have picked um, up three years ago there was profit then, but now with mm. the postage going up and everything yeah. and email fees going True, up, yeah. it's now the profit is, is two pound. And is it worth your time doing research, listing, photographing, putting it away, wrapping it for two pound? Yeah. If, if in that hour you can do items where you're making 10 pound profit, it's better than doing items where you're making two pound profit. Yeah. So that's that's Definitely. what it's about for us. It's it's not the volume. It's more of, quality, of, quality, isn't it? Yeah, and, quality and of item. And, yeah. So and you know what though when you when you cuz I've started doing that a lot over the last 6 months I've been doing it a lot and I've managed to increase my average sale price a lot and now I've got the least number of listings that I've had for year for a good few years and I've got the most sales that I've had for a good few years so it's like eBay kind of rewards you for listing stuff that is better selling if you just list stuff that's going to sit there for 6 months it, it actually, I, I think it harms your store in the long run because it just, stuff just goes stale. And even if you sell similar on it, at the end of the day, the bottom line is you're listing the same item that hasn't sold for the previous two months, for the mm. previous four months. Yes, you're putting it at a more attractive price, so there's a better chance of it selling, but it's still something that struggled to get interest previously. So I guess you've got to try and, and this is what I've been doing a lot. I've been really focused on trying to um, like clear out the dead wood. And I think it's paying off. It feels like it's paying off because things are moving quicker and the average sale price is going up. Um, and that kind of motivates you, I think, because um, when it comes back down to the work-life balance, I think for a lot of people, and I don't know if this is for you guys or anyone in the chat, or anyone listening but for a lot of people um you don't have a choice on the work life balance if if the numbers aren't coming in and you're not in and you're not bringing in enough income then unfortunately you feel like you have to work all the hours god sends because you've just got to pay your bills so that's when the work life balance is is a difficult one to achieve if there's not enough income coming in you just can't do it, can you? You, you can't yeah. just say, I'll have the weekend off if you no. haven't earned enough to pay your mortgage this month. So and that's our sort of situation, yeah. isn't it? Is that yeah, we, definitely. you know, especially the last year or so, it's got worse. And I think some of that is obviously our fault because we've got some older stuff listed. And, um, you know, we are a lot stricter now. We, we sell similar every couple of months. Yeah, don't we, we were so guilty. It, we're just leaving it. Yeah, and, I think... Um, I think especially when with it and it pulls the store down. Yeah, I think when you because we watch mm. a lot of resellers as well to see how everyone does it because you're always learning and we've just focused way too much on listing. Oh, I've got to get list this many today. It's really important. Mm. It's you know that's what the activity is about, and we really changed it completely. And we went, no, we're not we're not doing that. We're not listing ten pound items and only listing ten in that day, and we're going to flip it and only list our most expensive items now. Um, so sometimes only three a day because they need testing, they need it's, work. Yeah, there's the, that's um, the thing, with the quality and, and all that sort of thing, you know, I mean, value, you, you, I think it comes more work, but um, that listing obviously can, um, you know, generate a lot more yeah, profit we've, for you. We've listed stuff we've um, for four years, sat on a shelf and, and yeah. you know, for, for like £75 rather than something for £10. And yeah. we did see a bit of an upturn in sales. Yeah. But we are also deleting stuff from, from our store every day, some of that old stuff. Yeah. Um, we, we always, when we do sell something, we reduce the price, we change the photos about, change yeah, the... Yeah, you've got to do that. Do all, the, all of that. We actually, um, uh, well, I include a um, 
sort of an, a new photo. It's, it's, it's like um, whether they eBay have picture recognition or anything like that, I don't know, but it's, it's like the file's different. So yeah. I, I sort of push in a, a, that, a new photo. We've, and, we've um, noticed just, that's a lot more of our older stuff yeah. is sold um, on because, the ones that yeah. Paul's done the different photo. Mm. Yeah, um, I think that's worth trying that. I really do. Yeah, we, we try, you know, we try everything, don't we? Yeah. Because we ultimately do need, with everything going up all the time, mm. and, um, you know, we do need more money, so we are... Well, it's both of our wages, isn't it? Yeah, yeah that's, that's it. The thing. So you do, um, yeah, that's why we have to work so hard, and, um, mm. you know, that's what it is, isn't it? It's what it boils yeah. down to. Yeah. Um, but, um, but what, yeah. Just, what you just said there about that's both of your wages, that, that kind of leads me into one of my first points about work-life balance and I've, I've got a few notes written here and this is one thing that bell sort of said to me right is me and bell have a different dynamic to you two because i'm a reseller and she's got a full-time job you two are both full-time resellers so i think there's a difference in the way um the work-life balance uh, sort of uh, manifests itself like with you you guys because you're both in it you're both in that world whereas bell constantly pulls me back like even this morning i was up at five this morning because i had a watch whatnot show last night and they had 30 odd parcels to do this morning <laughs> so i was up at five this morning and um then bell got up a, a bit later and she said uh, are you coming for a walk and i said to her no I'm, i need to crack on and um you know get some listings on and get ready for this podcast and she said oh hang on a minute you've been up since five let's go out for a walk we'll have an hour out and you know you can you can carry on with your stuff afterwards an hour won't hurt so that's the difference like she pulled me away from work to have a break whereas mm -hmm. maybe like in your situation both of you reselling you know you just crack on with it yeah, yeah, you yeah. don't allow you'd yourself. Just, you'd have just plowed through that. You'd have just gone through and just carried mm. on working. I, I assume. Yeah, 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 yeah totally. Um, but yeah, no, you you definitely need that. You know, what we did this morning, having that hour break is definitely mm. you need it. Um, and I needed but, it. Yeah, we don't. We, we we don't. We just um, especially we just going for, with it. for a walk is good as well for oh, you, yeah, your yeah. mental health. But we we say, oh yeah, we should go for a walk. But we don't. We the amount of times we've said that. I yeah, mean, but we don't because you think, oh, I've just got to get this done. I've just got to get that done, and before you know yeah. it, it's the time's gone. <laughs> mm. That's it. You just you just plod on with it. Yeah. So um so yeah, it's we just we're just really trying to readdress it now, aren't we? Just yeah, sort of, trying to uh, take we, steps we, we to need, change. We because... need that time back. We need to we need to go out for a walk. We need to even if it's just half an hour or anything. Yeah. We, you know, half we, we do need to look in the day and say right at that point we can we can go out for a. a a walk or a yeah. quick coffee or something um just to i think it's to... <laughs> i think you learn a lot about yourself especially when we started doing youtube we learn a lot about ourselves watching ourselves back mm. and we mm. we try we know what we're not good at so what we try and do is incorporate that into a video so that's why we've done countless number of backlog videos because oh, yeah. otherwise if we don't we won't clear we'll, the backlog we'll so it, it. it's it's trying to because reselling it you know, everyone likes the fun bit. Let's watch someone go around a boot sale. But, um, you know, if you've done all that, you've gathered stuff and you've really got to tackle it. And it is boring. It's boring to make those videos. Mm. It's boring to watch those videos. But it is it is part of the reselling is that, you know, you've you, you bought it home. You've put it on a shelf. You've lost interest in it. Let's leave it there for four years. And then, oh, God, we better look at it. But the because... thing is, you leave it on the shelf, but then you don't actually realise the it's value. It's got value on it. We've had stuff on the shelf that have been there for years. Yeah. And then, you know, it's like 200, 250 pounds or something. That camera, like that. Yeah, yeah, I believe camera it. did that. Oh, that Canon camera. That super camera, yeah. camp. We got just got a few handful of things, put them on the table, like we'll do a backlog video. Yeah. This will get rid of these eight things. And when we looked at it, the camera was, was worth 250 quid. <laughs> oh. on the shelf oh. for years. Yeah. And We're all guilty of that. that. The yeah. Lovely Brooke let us know about the yeah, value did, yeah. and really helped yeah. us. And that's the good thing about the communities. People with, with knowledge do mm. step up and go, actually, yeah. 
you could yeah. get more for that and there's lots of helpful people mm. um but it yeah. just shows that you don't you know you can assume something's not worth anything and just leave it there and sometimes when you need money you don't realize it's there yeah. so yeah. we don't yeah. we just we want to have some form of backlog but we don't want such a backlog no, we don't you, want you it need, to, you need to trouble have a, us it has to have a rotation mm. you need to have a rotation and just um and have a set a set space for your backlog um, because you do need stuff for emergencies, like you say, if you're real, you can't go out yeah. or anything like that. And then you, you, you've yeah. got that, that um, bit there that you can you can sit on a sofa and do some listing or, uh, yeah. or do some testing or whatever. Um, but um, but no, the, you just, we just let it get way out of hand. Yeah, and and that's that's not to say what we're what we're dealing with at the moment. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, we have just had a situation where. Um, Paul's mum popped around this morning and we could yeah. show her into the living room yeah. and didn't have to move anything because it was empty. <laughs> no stock is in the living room. Yeah, yeah. And that's what we want. We want, we want a home where they are, it's not clogged up with stuff. Yeah. We, we're not embarrassed yeah. if someone pops in. Um, you know, it, we don't want it to look like an office everywhere, do we, or, or a warehouse. No. We want it to look like a living room and, and yeah. it's taken a long time to get to that, but that's what we've done. And now we've got a strict rule, no stock going in that living room. Yeah. That's well, it. the work life things, it's not just about like taking time, is it? It's also about no, your living about... environment as well. Like, of us, you know, yeah. the, probably the majority of us who are resellers, it, it's crossover between home and work. Well, most mm. of us work at home and we have stock at home and we, do everything from home there's there's probably a smaller number that have their own premises and stuff so that kind of leads me on to the next point so you've been actively trying to clear your house and uh you know make your home a home again so are you trying to confine things to one particular area like yeah you know, i know you've got a big garage so are you trying yeah. to get everything in there it's, it's, yeah yeah i mean the, one of the reasons we we that we bought the house was because the, the garage, the garage. Was, was um you know it's very attractive to to run a, a business from and um but so like i said over the years it spilled out everywhere and um when you're you you know when you do watch tv or something like that and you've got some stock in the corner your eye goes to that and you mm. you, you can't you, you don't feel you can relax so no we are trying to confine it all back to that that garage yeah um because it's yeah it, it, don't tell it's... anyone but we're a little bit messy as well <laughs> keep that a secret <laughs> so what you do is like i'll put put something on this table here and um i don't quite get enough time to finish it today so it's all right i'll leave it there for mm. tomorrow and that can be a problem because then you start doing that every night and but you know after a week it's on two or three sides and you're like oh i didn't get around to that but it's all right it, it, it's there for when i'm next coming to it but that's what do you en do you encourage each other to like um to keep a tidy space to, or are you bad as each other because you're both resellers bad as each other i, I think i'd say bad <laughs> thing. I'm, I'm probably a little bit worse i must admit because <laughs> my um uh, we used um one of the bedrooms that we as an office yeah um because it's it's quite close to the garage and um the amount of times uh maria's sort of Tidied the desk a bit for me, because it, uh, it gets you down. That's it, it why it does, does really get, me get down, you down. But you, you, you don't. I, in my mind, I'm thinking, oh, I don't want to waste time on doing that because I've got that to do. Um, and but then it just starts slowly piling up again, and then it, it yeah, yeah. I'm so not, think, I'm not, it's, that's one thing I've got to got to change. Yeah, is I try think, to be a, a bit tidy with that. that I think the tidiness thing. comes as part of it, really, and um, you know, it's just. We, we try different things, like if I'm working on the table, because this is where I normally have the laptop, I'll bring things in, in a tray box so that they stay in that tray box and then they get carried out to the photo area so they're not necessarily left on the table. That's what we're trying yeah. to do, aren't we? To yeah. Try yeah. To, you sort of look at how you work and you think, right, how can I make that better? And um, mm. that's what we, we're always analysing, aren't we? Always analysing, yeah. always trying to... Im improve how we do things um and yeah. our situation because ultimately we do you know we do want to be better at what we do we want to oh, yeah. not yeah. worry so much about it we don't want to be tripping over stuff mm. um the amount of it, times that i have tripped over it stuff just gets it just gets you down when you does. see it everywhere it gets oh, you down and i'm not I'm a not yeah. a light person and when i fall <laughs> yeah. it's a tumble it's, isn't it? yeah. now we're at that age where it's a tumble yeah, it is, i've yeah. taken a tumble um so, <laughs> so yeah it's just trying to 
trying to enjoy our home and then yeah. do the work in it, but not have them mixed as much as they have been. Yeah. That's what we sort of want. We want to look around and everything be tidy. And then okay. when we go to work, we open the garage door. Let's let's go to work and then let's shut the garage door. Yeah. Um, that's, that's, I that's have cool. three areas of the house. Because um, when we moved here, we it was actually it was more difficult than it needed to be finding a house because we needed a house that would fit my business in. Um, mm. So if, if we didn't need that, we could have got probably a smaller house. Um, but I have three areas. So I have the garage. I have we have two living rooms. So I have one of the living rooms, which is at the front of the house. That is my storeroom and packing area. And then I have my office studio, which is this room upstairs. Uh, they're the three rooms that I have for the business. Everywhere else is is home. So basically, yeah. Belle's really happy because when we moved here, each of the areas that is for my business, you can shut the door and you can't see it. So mm -hmm. if you were to come into this house and like not go rummaging around like the house. But <laughs> if you were to just walk in the house, in theory, you should just feel like you're in a house and not like a reseller's house or a hoarder's house or whatever. Um, that's the theory behind it because Belle likes to be able to shut the door on the business and not have it encroaching onto our life. And it seems yeah, to that's work. The thing. Yeah, that we we bought it's... this. We built this house and had exactly the same conversation. Yeah. It, oh, it's all right. It's got the garage next to the garage is the office. Yeah. There's a little sun lounger. We can do that. Just shut we the door. Do and that was the shut aim. The door and then leave it. And then, then, yep. then it's, it's, it's it's sort of out of sight, out of mind. Yeah. You're not thinking about it. But then we um, we got to start it, into bad habits, didn't we? we? Did. Leaving stuff everywhere and yeah, working in other areas and um, mm. that's sort of what it's become, really. Uh, yeah. It's just, just it's very easily done. Uh, in our last house, it kind of got overtaken as well. Mm. Um, but, yeah, it, it's very easily done. But I think it's good to aim um, to at least try and sort of put it behind closed doors if you can. Yeah, um, just before we, move, before we move on to the next sort of point, I just want to just scan through the chat because a few people, we've got some comments in here. Alison says, um, it's hard to slow down when you're a workaholic. I struggle to, I struggle relaxing. Yeah, that's how so, isn't it? Yeah. And Helen on Facebook says, um, it's hard getting a work-life balance when working from home. I find it hard to switch off. I think it's a common thing, especially, you know, even like just people who work from home who are not resellers can be quite hard because you still got that crossover in home and work. Yeah. Uh, yeah. See what else we've got. If I can get to the bottom of the chat, we can move on. Sometimes it goes the other way, though, because sometimes you want to do some work, but on a sunny day, you think, oh, I just I just put the washing on. I could, <laughs> I could wash the bedding today. And then, oh, I just put the kettle on. And, and so it, it goes the other way as well. Sometimes you need to be working, but yeah. because you're at home, you just pot, oh, I'll have a little potter. I'll just go and do that. So it sort of goes yeah. both ways sometimes. And the Secret Carper uh, says, the problem I th uh, is I think – we all have a junk log, not backlog, things that we don't want to do anything with or fix. Yeah, I, yeah I'm guilty of that because sometimes right, if I come back with a couple of bags from the boot sale, um, uh, I'll list the things that are easy first, mm. or cleaning, or I think, oh, it, it might be broken, I need to test, anything that needs testing, it tends to get put to one side. Um, but I guess it's just human nature. I, I guess that's a mindset that you've got to get in that you've just got to list, you've just got to work through everything, preferably in order. You don't have to be, but I guess if you're looking at processes, it's better to work in order and not leave things for for years. Because like you say, at the time of buying, you're you're buying it based on a price in your head. In a year's time, it might not even be worth it. I mean, there's loads of examples of where things over time just aren't worth what they were even one year ago. Yeah. No, and oh, I think yeah. sometimes you don't want to invest the time in, in something um, when it needs cleaning. And because time seems to go so quickly. Well, don't buy it in the first place then. I know, but we bought like That's that. 
we bought big crazy frog, didn't we? And we showed it in a video. Look at this. We bought this. It just needs a little bit of clean. And um, it sat then in the pub for 14 months. Mm. And uh, I cleaned it. It only took two minutes. And I said to Paul, it's not come up very well. I'll just list it as it is. And it sold really quickly. And you think, oh, that's just yeah. money's just been sat there. And really, it does need to be whatever you buy on that day, look at it as a batch and go, well, I'm not doing anything else until all of these exactly have been Exactly that. Yeah, still, you've got to look at it as a batch. Look at it as You've a batch. got to get a bag, get a bag of stuff, plonk mm. it next to your desk and say, I'm going to work through everything in this bag, no matter what's in there, mm. and get it. just get it done. Just get a bag of stuff and work through it. And do, I, I work in small batches, so I'll I'll do like five or six at a time. I'll list it on my computer. I'll save it as a draft. I'll move over to the photo and I'll photograph it all. And I'll I'll then bang it on at five at a time. I'll do that in fives. And I think when you do it in small batches, it's easier, it, and you feel like you're achieving more as well. Yeah, that's how we work. We do batches of five, don't we? Because we do. it, it it's it's also a quick operation if you're doing those five things are doing the same thing to those five yeah. things at that time. Exactly. Yeah. Um, okay. Let's move on to the next point. This is something that the wife, Belle, mentioned to me. Cause I said to her this morning, can you think of anything from your point of view, you know, from uh, work life balance? Cause that's the subject for today. And she said, um, a phrase was, I think it was there, but not there. That's what she said to me, I think. And what she meant by that was, and you're laughing because I, <laughs> I think you know like what what she means by that. Maybe some people in the chat do, but basically I might say to Belle in an evening, all right, should we put a film on? And, you know, we'll just chill out and watch a film. And what happens is we put a film on and she's there watching it and I get my phone out and I'm, I'm watching it, got me... I'm looking up over my phone and then I'm down at my phone and I'm looking, I'm sourcing for stuff. I'm answering eBay stuff. I'm sending out offers on eBay. Um, you know, I'm going through listings and just random things like that. You know, answering emails, you know, thinking about the next, what the next thing is I'm going to do on YouTube. I might even be editing a YouTube video whilst I'm watching, whilst <laughs> we're supposed to be watching a film. All right. And, and then what happens is half an hour in it, I, I say to Belle, I say, who's that again? What's he doing? Like, you know, like that. Because I've, I've, I've totally lost the stri stri string of what's going on. And it's not it's no surprise because I, I can't multitask like that. But this, this is one thing that she says. It, it does annoy her. I know it does. Uh, and now and again, she'll kind of look over to me. I can see her eyes, like, <laughs> looking at me from the side. She's got her feet up on me and she I can see her eyes and I know she's going to pull me up on it. You just can't help it as a reseller. It's like, it's very, it is hard to switch off, but sometimes you just got to put that phone down and. You got to put it on silent or, yeah. or even put it, put it on the <laughs> Things you get offers, don't you? And things like yeah, that. You, you do. It yeah, is, that's it. Is, it. It's what you're supposed to do, you want to take that offer, don't you, before some, <laughs> they go and buy from somebody else? Yeah. And normally what we'll do is if we're watching something, Paul will pause it. So we watch 10 minutes, pause. Oh, this person's offered this. What do you think? And then we have a five-minute Oh, yeah. Do you remember it, what yeah. we paid for? I don't know. What did we pay? Where did we get it from? <laughs> Let's <laughs> go around the houses, don't we, and go, yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, put it back on again. <laughs> But you get those people that sort of send you a message at quarter to one in the morning as well, don't you? And you're just going to sleep. Just, and then yeah, you're like, oh. That's annoying. And then you're like, oh, should I answer it now? Should I answer it in the morning? And mm. Yeah, you don't ever switch off. It's Everything is to do with eBay, isn't it? Um, yeah. Yes. All the time. Yeah. Our day is governed by when our parcels need to be done by. Yeah. Um, and all that sort of thing. So, yeah, lots of. Um, mm. oh, lots I'm of glad it's not things. just me then. No, 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 <laughs> definitely no. not. I mean, we only watch yeah, couple films a year, don't we, at Christmas? So, um... yeah. <laughs> Abdul no. on uh, YouTube has made a comment. He said, uh, I sell memory. Um, that's something I could do. You could sell me some of that. Uh, <laughs> it's constantly depreciating. Prices change on a week to week basis. Well, mm. That's a good point. So, you know, if if you were to, you know, buy stuff to do with like computers and memory and you know if you leave it in your backlog for a year yeah no you, you might you, as well not bother no, you, you know it's it's going to depreciate a lot isn't it so that's that's another yeah, that's a good point yeah chris tyler's got a question 
Uh, do you dream about eBay? Have you ever dreamt about eBay? Um, I don't know, you know. I haven't, you know. No, I haven't I had a dream think... about, even though it's on my mind 24-7. Mm. Yeah, you know what I, I dream think... about most? I dream about my, when I was in the cops. I dream about, uh, I have dream, bloody nightmares, but I dream about, <laughs> I dream about that a lot. You know, I wake up thinking, oh, thank God I'm not still in the cops. Yeah, but no, think... I don't think I've ever dreamt about eBay. I can't remember. But it. then again, our memory's not so no, good nowadays, and we're, we're old. We're, yeah. <laughs> uh, here's a question for you. So the next little agenda item on my list: regular hours. So here's what I do, and this is what I endeavour to do. It doesn't always work out, but ba my basic week, what I try and do is do office hours Monday to Friday. So around sort of eight till four ish, give or take an hour on it on that, depending on what's going on. So I try to to do Monday to Friday office hours, weekend off, like I mentioned earlier, with listings scheduled, other than going to boot sales and sourcing. Um, and that's what I try and do. And I try and free up my evenings so that we have time together, me and the missus. Um, do you do anything like that? No, we've been together we're 25 we're years. Together. <laughs> <laughs> we're lucky if we get coffee together. <laughs> yeah. No, we, no, we don't. We want to, though, we want don't to we? Do that. This, this is, is the thing. It's, this is what we're trying to sort of readdress and, 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 and sort of get to that point, really, yeah. because it, it would be nice to, and you've got your evenings off and you, you yeah. know, and you have, well, mostly you won't have all of them, but most of your weekends back and things like that. And it's, um, that, that is what we're trying to achieve. Yeah. And to be honest, it's all the fault of YouTube because when we started doing the YouTube videos, we, we were surprised at how much we actually enjoyed being together um, because we don't really spend time <laughs> well, <laughs> together. Can... And even though we've been together Can't say that. for an eternity, <laughs> we we realised that we're, we're laughing and enjoying being together. And we realised that was what was missing from our lives, really. Um, so we just want to do a bit I mean, you're more of that. Sound oh. like quite bad. <laughs> no, 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 we do. Oh. We, 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 we eat, we eat, and um, you know, have coffee breaks and whatever. Yeah. But we don't, um, we we don't. Everything it's... revolves around taking Emily to wherever she used to go and work. Mm. So we don't say, "Oh, let's have an evening off and go out." We don't do any of that, do we? No, we don't. Um, no. So the YouTube videos, to. it was yeah. It we all look at us laughing together, yeah, and we realise that yeah. um, we want to do more of that. We want to mm. um, go out more. Yeah. Eat more. <laughs> yeah, well, not eat more. But, I yeah. want to eat more. Yeah. Um, and just enjoy life a bit more. It, it, if we yeah. can um, change how we work and and you know make those changes mm. so that we do still generate the same sort of income in in a five day period, it means we can have a more of an enjoyable life. And that's for us is what what we feel has been missing. Oh, yeah. Definitely. So maybe you need to like work a bit smarter during those hours. Yeah, that's like, exactly oh, it. That's work exactly a bit it. harder, a little bit smarter, and not get mm. distracted. And if you can do that, then that means your evenings and weekends you can mm. free up a little bit. That's it. And I think if you if you watch how both of us are, we're we're completely different resellers. Paul is more. Um, a new he likes to buy new things and multi listings i do quite like a multi listing so that's so, why when we when we go out to the boot sales paul won't sometimes won't buy anything or he might buy yeah. one thing but paul is really tuned into what our sort of um what our aim is for the business whereas i'm more oh look 50p wicker oh and i just <laughs> gather it all up and it, so it's paul like, is more like paul is led by his head and, and you're yes. led by the heart is that right that's it i like old things and if it's 50p i'm all over it and that's the problem is that it's i need to be more like paul and really focus on you know on an item what's the weight of the item because that's going to be more expensive to post and whereas not just get wrapped up in the oh it's lovely it's only a pound we'll have that and then it's get it home thing, oh, yeah. so only worth 10 pound yes when you have yeah, the thing is you've got a, like a perfect sort of combination really if you can hone it in properly you've got the two halves you've just got to fit together that's exactly it and paul loves buying things like speakers and electrical things that have got some really good value to them but but sometimes his time is taken up wrapping up the you a know massive wicker basket six ninety nine <laughs> items and your time spent doing that and really you don't have yeah. time to work on the expensive items that we've got on the shelf so it's freeing up 
it's trying to sell less but of a higher value. Yeah. That is yeah. our that's our that's aim, it. isn't it, going yeah. forward? So it's trying yeah, to be yeah. stricter with the buying mm. um, so that we are not, in a sense, not wasting our time because there, there will be a lot of people listening that go, well, that's bread and butter. But but we've it's got to... a point. We're not saying don't do it. We've got to look it's, at what just... we can earn in an hour yeah, and make it. it more so that we can do less hours. That's... I'm going to put that on yeah. a T-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's what we're sort of trying to do because it, for us, it is in, it, it's becoming a... A, a thing where we are starting to to despise the way we're doing it, yeah. and we really want to change it and make it better. You'll yes. get there, though. You will. You will get there. Yeah, if you, we if are you getting... to do it, then you will do well, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah we are. Right? I mean, like I said, the, the backlog was absolutely colossal, and it's it's taken us a long time, and we're we're still going through it. Yeah, we've we? spent about four months on that backlog. But um, at the same time, we're still we're trying to sort out eBay, get rid of some of the lower value stuff. And, yeah stuff that's been on there for a long it's time valuing so it's, your it's, time it's, it's a bit just more trying isn't it? to yeah that's exactly yeah it. Value, being yeah. smarter with what you're buying don't yeah. just buy everything because it's yeah. cheap yeah, yeah because yeah. then and you simon get... says it here simon says work smarter not harder yeah that's probably. exactly right yeah. yeah definitely it's easier said than done mind i mean it sometimes it takes <laughs> yeah. a big shift in, shift in your mind and shifting what you do on a day-to-day -day basis you know Sometimes we'll be somewhere and, and I'm looking at something and over my shoulder, Paul's going to me, is it worth more than £20? <laughs> <laughs> this is why yes. we're just reminding yeah. me of what our sort of what we're, our goal oh, is. Yeah. Yeah. Um, because you do, you get wrapped up. I do that up. quite a lot. You do, you <laughs> over my shoulder, is it worth more than £20? Um, because it is easy for me to see a profit, but it, it needs to be a, a certain amount of profit. profit. For that's, our time, yeah. mm. and that's the most difficult thing. Yeah, there's two of you working on it. Remember, there's two of you work on it. Yeah, that's it. So it's twice the amount of time because we do we split it in half. So I do the listing, cleaning, listing. You do the photography, and then you put it away, and then you pack it and sell it and everything. So yeah, it mm. when you add it up, we've got to be earning a certain amount per yeah. hour. Yeah. yeah. So it's yeah. looking at it more like that, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Just flip it on flip it on its head and think to yourself, well, yeah, if if something's going to give me £20 profit, then that's £10 each rather than 20 Or if it's £10 profit, that's only £5 each. Mm. So yeah. is that really worth doing it at £5 each? Yeah. That's yeah. it. So it sounds like aim, it's aim for those long, higher value items, yeah, isn't it? How yeah. long it's going to be to actually deal with that product. So obviously, if it's something only a minute, and, um, well, yeah, it's not too that's bad. That's right. But, but if it's 10 minutes of cleaning, then you've yeah. got to test it and everything. It's yeah, yeah. it's working out the yeah. time. It's being really conscious of the time yeah. because we only have a set amount of time and we, we want to reduce that time, don't we? Yeah, yeah. Definitely. So, um, so it's, it's, we've got to up the profit. Um, mm, so, yeah. you know. Yeah. And mm. something I've got written down here in capitals on my notes is life's too short. Mm. Yeah, that's exactly yeah, it. It, I think. Is. Um, it is. And we've lost. You a guys of have had experience before. of this yeah, this yeah. year, haven't you? Yeah, so, yeah. and it, it it makes you look at your own situation and go, don't don't you know? We don't want to look back on life and go, oh, well, we did, all we did was work, yeah. um, because especially now our daughter's older, everything was about her. Um, now she's older, she's doing her own things, and it 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 will give us a bit of time to go. Well, actually, we could go out. Let's go for a walk. Let's go somewhere nice. And, yeah, yeah. And and it's doing it without feeling guilty. So we just want to be a bit more productive in in the in the working days mm. and then have that nice weekend of doing whatever we want yeah. to do that's definitely that's do the it. plan do she it. says that's that is the plan i mean we, we are it's taken a while but we are getting through it we've had four months it's, of it being absolute rubbish haven't we yeah but the thing is like you said it's the punishment it so is the punishment it, it is for letting it get so bad and um yeah yeah and take all that take the sourcing away and then you take the interaction with people on on youtube you take that away as well, and you just feel that it's just the two of us with our heads down, just going oh, through it's just it all. The two of us. Oh no, but it is though. You just feel <laughs> you're constantly working, and um, and it's just not clearing quick enough. Yeah, it's really frustrating. But we are getting there. I say our living room's clear now, so yeah. woo! <laughs> Great. Well, that's a start, isn't it? One room at a time. Yeah. Slowly reclaim your home. That's it. That's it. Mm. But yeah, life life is too short, and um, when you when you do lose somebody, I mean, I lost my dad a few years ago. But um, when it happens, it just makes you realise that you know we're only on this earth for a, a very few small number of years, and mm. you spend all of it working. Well, 
where's the fun in that? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah exactly. No, it, it definitely needs to change and you definitely got to sort of look at what you're doing. Yeah. And it would be much better if you can work hard because you'll always work hard we all mm. do as resellers you have to work hard to earn, earn a full-time living mm. but work hard for the smaller amount of time during the day just really go for it like during the day on a monday to friday office hours go for it and give yourself your weekends and evenings back so that you've actually got a life you know go on some holidays if you can afford it and go and get get some time back because we're, we're not here long enough to just be working all the time you know if yeah you i mean do it, do it, do it. that's another thing we'd like to you know do some weekends away and yeah. things like that and um oh there's yeah. a nice there's a lovely place in north wales oh, is it? <laughs> <laughs> you've got free accommodation here Ooh, free. 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 all you've got to do is your petrol money here <laughs> um let's let's move on because what time are we on oh we've nearly been going 55 minutes um gone really quick. That's gone quick. something that um everybody like as a reseller has different goals for like what they want out of the reselling you know some people do it as a hobby you know some people just do it as a bit of a, a side hustle which is where i started i was just a side hustle um and some people do it as a full-time living like we do now. And um, some people take it a step further and want to actually like smash it and work as hard as they possibly can, you know, in a day and, you know, list, 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 sell, sell, sell. And um, I, I totally like admire anybody who can do it. But from, from my point of view, that's not for me. I don't want that. I don't want to be uh, like I, I always use the phrase a machine. I don't want to be a machine. I want to work hard, but have enough time to live as well and earn enough money to pay the bills, to have a nice holiday. I, I'm not interested in like being the first reseller millionaire. That does not interest me whatsoever. The only the only way I want to be a millionaire is if the lottery numbers come up. I don't want to have to work that hard for it. And maybe that's just me being lazy. Maybe I don't want to work as hard for it as what some other people do. But I I just value that work-life balance too much for, for me to be working 24-7. I just don't want to do it. And I just don't see, I don't see the value in it. And also, I think that I don't know about you guys. You you may not think the same as this, but I found as I've got older, now I'm 45 and I'm old, I'm an old man now, right? As I've got older, my my mindset has changed on that because when I was in my 20s, I did want to earn more money. I did want to like go up the ladder and and earn more and do stuff, you know. But as I've sort of gone into my 30s and 40s, it's kind of flipped a bit. And I think that's as life changes you and things happen in your life. And I don't want to be a machine. I just want to earn enough to live a nice lifestyle. I don't need to be lavish or anything. So what do you, what's your opinion on that? Well, we're, we're the same. We don't, yeah. um, I mean, I, I do have a bit of a thing with times. I do like to maximize my efficiency. So I, I, in certain ways, I do like to be productive. Um, but, you know, once you get to 50s, you sort of, you quite like a garden centre, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> so I like you the garden centre of... boxes. <laughs> you sort of telling them? <laughs> giving all away our secrets here but you do you sort of appreciate um a bit more relaxing i think don't you in, in yeah. a sense you don't you, i'm, 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 I'm I am, not saying I we're not bit... as ambitious because that's not right no. is it i think well i was you value like your... Chris, i mean you know back in when you're in your 20s and that it is it's it's yeah but when you get to you eyes do you do and, value your yeah. your time and you think, well, actually, I'd like to spend it sat somewhere relaxing or yeah. or going for a walk or something. You just you appreciate some of those sorts of things a bit mm. more when you're older. And um, 
yeah, we, I, I do admire the machine like people because. Yeah, oh, I do. I totally do. It. And it, 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 yeah, it's not a criticism of those people. No, no, we, we, um, you know, if someone's got a passion for something and they work really hard, that's the sort of people we gravitate towards because yeah. we're like that ourselves. We, you know, we, with, with our daughter, we said, you know, you don't have to be the best at something, but if you work really hard, that's all we're, yeah. out, we're mm. looking for. Work hard and then hopefully you reap the rewards of that. Um, so, yeah, it, but, but as I say, I'm always trying to be better. But the thing I love about reselling is the learning. Um, I like old things, and when I'm listing old things, I'm learning about them, and that's the. Older. Sorry. So I'm getting older. I'm getting older. I but nearly I said to it there, but I refrained. No, no, I, I, I thought you would have. <laughs> I like the learning about it. So for me, it, it's sometimes it's about the items that um, that I'm listing. I'm learning about those items, and it's it's the knowledge you're gaining on a daily basis that I love. Mm. Yeah, 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 definitely. <laughs> yeah. Um, do you think here's a, here's, a, here's a question do you think um, it's better and you can answer this because you've done both do you think it's better to have your business outside the house like in its own office, unit, shop whatever, warehouse or is it better to actually have your business within the home well we've done both we used to have a couple of business units that we yeah. worked out of and all we did was brought stuff home to do and they, then well you, ah, yes. you sort of felt that they say you needed you were going to work on something uh, oh i've left those documents there or i've left that item there and that's why we in the end we we got rid of that and moved to a house with a i mean obviously garage. financially it's better to have it at home but yeah. you know the thing is if you can be strict with yourself and like you say, you have your rooms, you can shut it off, you don't go past that door after a yeah. certain time, Yeah, and then, it's, then it's and that's great. That. But the only <clears throat> downside is um, there's more of a chance of it spilling into the house and yeah. then it spills further and further and further and that's what's happened to us and that's what yeah. we're trying to achieve. But when it's in another building, you, you, you can bring home so much, but that's your limit. Yeah, you so, can't then do any more. No, so, you so have, that is you have a no choice. that is a bonus, and but that's what but, we used to do. We just used to bring it home. We'd come home with stuff mm, every night, so like homework. I think I'd do that. You know, I think yeah. I would if I because I've toyed with the idea of uh, you know looking for a bit of office space, looking for a bit of storage space, and literally mm. moving everything out and having it all in a contained unit as, as such. But I just think to myself, I'm going to end up bringing it home. Right when when the, I come back from a boot sale, I'm going to bring it to the house. I'm going to store it somewhere in a back room or something. I just think, and also I think like from a time point of view, perhaps, um, you know, going to and from constantly, you know, yeah. and and obviously from a cost point of view, like you said, Paul, it's like um, if you can save the expenditure of paying for rent and rates and, um gas electric or whatever else bills you've got to pay at, at a premises or a unit or whatever if you can save that that is a, a lot of money that you mm. can just play either plow back into your business or it's it's a lot less time you've got to work to pay for it oh yeah mm. yeah but you have to be strict with yourself that's the thing when mm. you've got it yeah you yeah really and that's the question isn't it can you be strict enough mm. to in your home to to keep it out of your home life mm. yeah i think that's what it will come down to i think we will when we're when we've cleared everything i think we will say right these are our hours and we will be we're mm. only doing this to this monday to friday and yeah. we, um i don't know how i think that would be great that, that's the plan i think you guys everything. if you can do it if you can do that if you can get your house in order and then and then give yourself some it doesn't have to even be like because i i do monday to friday and then little bit it's it's very loose right but like because in an evening there's no way you can switch off completely if offers come in you've got to deal with it if there's mm. offers waiting to be sent out you've got to deal with it if there's questions you've got to deal with it you know it's very very loose but i basically like shut my office door at four or five o'clock and yes i'll do stuff on my phone uh, to do with the business in the evening but 
essentially the bulk of the work, the main sit down, listing, cleaning, testing, that bulk is done for me in an evening. Because I want my, what I want is to spend time with my wife, with Belle and the dog and the family and friends when we go and see them. That is, that's important. It's really important, I think. And that's what I kind of live for. I want I want to spend as much time with Belle as possible because who knows what's around the corner. Someone's you know, trying to get a few brownie points. No, no. <laughs> uh, she's Look, she's in there. She's there. Yeah. Banana Belle is in <laughs> watching. So I'm trying to sort of sweeten her up a bit. But it's true. It, you know, I love spending time with Belle. Of course I do. So that's what I want to do most of. Yeah, and that's, that's I don't, I don't want to do good. most work. I want I want to no, be spending more time that's exactly it. work. Yeah, and we're the same. We want to spend time relaxing and enjoying oh, ourselves yeah, yeah. Definitely. Uh, rather than yeah. working. Working all the time. Yeah, that's it. So, um, so yeah. And uh, Abdul says, I used to work from inside the house. I now work in the garden. I built an outhouse at the back. You see that? That's kind mm. of an in between, isn't it? That's mm -hmm. like not, yeah. You've not got a premises away that's costing you a lot of money, but you've got at least you've got a unit or a garden or shed, whatever that you can get away from the house. So that that that's like a an in between. Yeah, that's yeah, a good idea. You shut that off, and yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. I think it's good because you've got to go outside, and yeah, you? You so have, yeah. you know, it almost it feels like you're going to work. work. So, yeah. yeah, the fact that you've got to go outside is like right. I'm going to work now. And I'm mm. going to be working in there for the rest of the day. And when I come out, that's it. That's the end of my day. So that's a yeah. bonus, isn't it? You can do that. Yeah. yeah. And um, the disabled photographer says, life is for living, not always working. Do let, don't let, do let eBay take over your life. Holidays are, are spoiled because you're always checking your eBay. Mm. Well, yeah, I mean, you're never off. Even when you're on holiday, I'm the same. I'm still dealing with eBay stuff. But... It's a very tiny percentage of the time when I'm away. I'm, I'm not bothered. Um, it doesn't bother me. At the end of the day, you do still have to maintain your business because you've got to come back from your holiday. You've got to come back and you've still got to pay your bills and you've got to pick up where you left off. So you've got to make sure things are ticking over and things aren't getting out of control while you're away. Even if there's problems, sometimes you've got to start dealing with returns whilst you're away. You've got to start dealing with cases that get opened. Uh, and Chris Tyler says, um, I guess if you have kids running about the house, it's better to be away from the home. That's that's a fair point. Mm. That could be a fair yeah. point. Although some people might prefer to still work at home because then they don't they can actually sort of do some work, but also look after kids at the same similar time. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. It's a saving, isn't it? Yeah. Um, yeah. But, um... Yeah, I think um, you've got to be careful of distractions sometimes yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah, that is true. Well, I think we've come to the end of our first ever podcast, Paul and Marie. Thank you so much for... Thanks for having us. Thank you very much for having us. It was, <laughs> Has it been like a therapy session for you? It to has, try and it has. It, this is it sort of, it's sort of showing how not to um, do reselling, really. It's, yeah. <laughs> No, That's what you, people learn from it. Don't do it the way they do it. No, no, no. We're trying to rectify it. Yeah, that's it. No, we. Yeah, no. We've got to be changing, haven't you? Yeah, that's it, definitely. And uh, we, we, we do want to get this um, life balance back. Don't we? Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, you have got to enjoy your job. Yeah. Um, you've got to enjoy it, and you've got to enjoy your life. And yeah. um, we're we're not here long enough to to be working twenty four seven. No, that's definitely it. not. Yeah, but you've got to pay your bills as well. So there's so many yeah, fine balances. It. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like a juggling act, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, of course. Yeah, it is. And we're all still striving to get it right. I don't think any of us get it hundred percent right. You know, Belle pulls me back in line on a daily basis. She's like, "What are you doing? Why are you doing that now? Turn it off." Yeah. <laughs> she says bell, it like yeah. that. Yeah, well. We need the <laughs> bell. That's what we need. <laughs> yeah, you do. Yeah. Um, okay, before we finish, um, do you want to um, let everybody know where they can find M's Den? You know, where can they find you on the internet? You know, where can can they look you up anywhere? Um, well, yeah, we're on, on 
YouTube. YouTube, Emsden UK, uh, Instagram and uh, Facebook we yeah. are on as well, yeah. We're not so um, good on the socials, are we? We're a bit we're, no, we are. <laughs> <laughs> no, we've never been that we great. We try, don't we? We try. Um, but, um, but, yeah, no. That's sort can... of where we are, yeah. <laughs> okay. Right, well, thanks for being my first victim on the podcast. Thanks very much. <laughs> and um, we'll call it a day there. And uh, look out for the next podcast. I'll hopefully bring another one out next week with maybe another Can't guest. Wait. Can't wait, can we? No, no, great idea. Okay. And uh, that's it. Thanks, everybody. Thank you for everybody who's been watching live on YouTube. And if you're listening back, I really appreciate it. Take care. Thank you, Paul and Marie. Thank um, you. We're waving. Bye. <laughs> waving. Waving hand. Waving hand. That's it for today's episode of the Everything Reselling Podcast. I hope you've enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, to follow or to subscribe wherever you're watching or listening to this podcast. And we'll see you on the next episode. <laughs>